Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the moon square or opposition of the midheaven in a natal chart. Now, uh, first off, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart. They were a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy. So what I decided to do is make another series on in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up is if you have the moon square or opposite the midheaven uh, in a natal chart, there may be a difficulty as far as meeting that need, which is the uh, moon for uh, career uh, related matters, which is uh, the midheaven. Now, if the midheaven is in Aries, as an example, uh, career related matters and endeavors may be tied in with welding, carpentry, it could be pioneering or innovative uh, work, and maybe something connected with combative sports or volatile sports such as uh, hockey or football would be the volatile ones. Combative sports can be uh, boxing, karate, wrestling, uh, kickboxing as some uh, examples. And the thing, um, about this is to I mean you have uh, if you have the moon square or opposite uh, the midheaven and they will chart it in some cases it may indicate you know a separation or a divorce um, with the parents because the moon rules the mother and the midheaven is the dominant parent which in most cases would be um, the father and it could show even if there's no you know actual separation or divorce these people can be diametrically opposed in what they um you know in, in beliefs or what have you and the thing about um this is to you know it's of course it's important to look at the synastry between those people and their charts to really see you know really go deeper into the sinistry and compatibility between them. But another thing about the moon square or opposite the midheaven and the natal chart, it could be where the person has trouble, you know, really being emotionally, which is the moon vested in our uh, responsibilities, uh, which is the uh, midheaven. Now, if the midheaven is in the zodiac sign Cancer, as an example, you know, those responsibilities may be tied in with laundry, plumbing, home, family related matters. It could be doing, um, you know, something with even um, interior decoration or home renovation and remodeling, something that involves a lot of, you know, nurturing and caring, uh, protection, as some examples. Now, the um, thing about this too is um, these aspects can also indicate where it may be hard to balance uh, laborious work, which is the midheaven, and the um, emotional needs, you know, which is uh, the moon. There may be a conflict between one uh, and uh, the other. Now, you know, if you have, you know, say, um, say the midheaven. You know, as in Taurus, it could be you know, laborious work, maybe tied in with art or gardening, you know, agriculture, cultivation, you know, carpet laying, even construction, as uh, some examples of the midheaven is in Gemini, say, you know, the laborious work may be tied in with things that are associated with manual dexterity, such as auto or refrigeration mechanics, as some uh, examples, work that involves you know, the use of the hands. It could also be, um, too, you know, um, that if you have the moon square or opposite the midheaven in your chart, um, it could be where the mother and family, which is the moon, may have you know an adverse effect on your social status which is the midheaven now it may not necessarily be done in, in a malicious way that you know in most cases i don't believe you know the, these people would be deliberately trying to you know adversely impact your social status and stature in life but it could be where these people you know are, are distracting to some degree or you know their needs are taking some kind of priority or precedence you know over what you need to do to improve your social status um you know and stature in life and that's where you know you could have you know a strong uh conflict uh, the thing is if you have the moon in cancer 
you know, mother and family members may be very clingy, you know, and dependent, uh, as uh, some uh, examples. And if the moon says in Gemini, it could be a lot of, you know, communication and people, you know, just wanting to be inquisitive and ask, you know, a lot of questions, getting, taking, you know, monopolizing your time through a lot of communication and conversation as uh, some examples. Now, another way uh, the moon square or opposite the midheaven may manifest in a natal chart, it could also be that um, you may often not feel or be in that mood, which is the moon. You know, in terms of attaining, you know, notoriety and recognition, the thing about this is there could be, a, you know, a really where the person may be torn between, you know, the introvert at home related activities and, you know, matters pertaining to their business and their career. But as far as the, um, notoriety and recognition goes, which is the midheaven, I mean, let's say if the midheaven, you know, is in Leo. You know, notoriety and recognition may be tied in, you know, with acting, entertainment, circus performing, even it could be doing something, you know, with product demonstration. It may be something um, associated with creativity or cardiology, um, as uh, some examples, even sports could be, you know, some other examples. And uh, the, the thing is, again, you could have, you know, a person, again, may be torn between, you know, doing things, you know, that, you know, in the home, introverted level, as opposed to things that will get them acclaimed, that will get them, you know, the accolades, the notoriety, the exposure, attention, and recognition, which is the midheaven. Now, another thing, too is that if you have the moon square or opposite the midheaven in the natal chart it could also indicate that you may frequently uh, not care which is the moon uh regarding about your public image and reputation you know which is the midheaven now let's say if the midheaven is an aquarius you know it could be where you know the, the public image and reputation may be you know, connected with being you know rebellious or not conforming or eccentric as some examples let's say if the midheaven is in Sagittarius is another example you know there may be a public image and reputation connected with being reckless foolhardy self-righteous um, it could be you know one that's very blunt tactless you know as some examples now another way um, these aspects uh, may be expressed in the natal chart is that uh, you know, moon-related people, you know, may not be beneficial to you in terms of attaining success, which is the midheaven. When I say, you know, moon-related people, you know, I'm referring, of course, to home, family members, people you're close to home with, those that may be in some moon-related profession, whether it's laundry, culinary work, plumbing, real estate, home renovation and remodeling as some examples and let's say you have your midheaven and virgo you know success may be attained through doing something with statistics or analytics you know something associated with um with data you know extrapolating um information it could be something with organizing or health and fitness you know working as like a nutritionist or dietitian as some examples now another thing too is that um, there also may be a conflict between that unconscious side which is the moon and those qualities that are difficult to suppress which is um, the midheaven you know if you have the zodiac signs cancer and capricorn involved as an example you could see where that energy could be diametrically opposed because cancer is the zodiac sign cancer is very nurturing um, caring sympathetic empathetic emotional but the the um, capricorn can be more like very rational you know earthy um even undemonstrative you know business oriented as opposed to the home loving cancerian energy so you can see where you could have a strong conflict in terms of uh, you know using that example anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time edwin leonard saying stay well